Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Kita with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope everybody has a great weekend. So I just got up earlier, well, earlier this morning, um, and I just got ready for the day. I'm not doing nothing crazy today. I have my boys. My husband is working. Um, so I'm going to be here at home, and I thought I'd let I take you all along my day of eating. So today is Saturday, and if you have been doing the No Dairy Free Challenge with me, today was my weigh-in day, okay? So I'm going to update you all on my weight loss for the no dairy challenge. So last week, I didn't really do an update, you guys, because I don't know, my my weight loss was kind of slow last week. I thought I would lose a little bit more. Um, the scale just wasn't budging last week. So I kind of stayed in the same window last week. So, um, but I feel less bloated. So that's a good thing. Like I feel like my bloat is going down and I feel slimmer, um, but I did weigh in this morning. So I'm gonna update y'all on my weight loss. So. So from starting from the journey I started at or starting this challenge I started at 155 and I'm currently at 149.4 so I'm so excited that I'm finally back in the 140 so in total I have lost 5.6 pounds along this challenge um hopefully this next week I can drop a little bit more um like I said last week was pretty slow for me and I saw that some of y'all had commented that I was kind of slow for y'all as well so I'm not the only one in that boat but remember you know weight loss is a journey it always goes up it always goes down sometimes it stays the same as long as you keep pushing I promise you will see those changes and it will go down slowly like I said I have been on my journey for a really long time and sometimes I lose weight faster and then sometimes it takes a little bit so right now it's taking a little bit but at least I'm going in the right direction I'm going down and not up so I am doing really well um if y'all wait in today make sure y'all update it on the check-in or whatever y'all want um just comment what y'all are having for lunch and dinner you can update on your weight loss and how you're doing any changes you may be feeling I would say I have more energy now I'm doing really good on my energy wise I'm getting back on track like with my schedule and things like that um so the only thing I haven't been able to do is go to the gym <laughs> So I was actually thinking about doing an at-home workout. So if y'all would like to see that, comment down below. Since I'm not able to be in the gym right now, my kids are still on summer and my husband is out of town working and I can't go to the gym because I have my kids. So I have those moments where I can't really head to the gym and right now it's one of those moments. Okay, I'll get back to the gym once they go back to school, which is going to be very soon. But for, for until then, I think I should do at-home workouts. So if y'all would like to see that, comment down below and I can record some at home workouts for y'all um with what i have with what i can um so i don't think i think that would be really good and definitely help keep pushing me forward um but i hope everybody has been on track you guys remember if you need any help comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can but i hope everybody has been on track and going in a positive direction as well comment down below how much weight you have lost so far or just any achievements you have made it doesn't always have to be about weight you guys like i said it can be about the energy it could be about how you feel just little achievements like i remember when i first started my journey i would like make little i would see little changes like I would see like I would like oh my god I have a jawline now oh my god I have like collarbones now like it would be like little achievements you know even just like how your clothes fit so if you have any little achievements feel free to comment down below all right guys but like I said I am getting up this morning and we're gonna go ahead and have a full day of eating I'm just gonna take y'all along my day and show y'all what meals I'm going to be making today um we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna have some lunch I wasn't gonna really have breakfast today wasn't in the mood we're gonna go ahead and have some lunch so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm going to be whipping up we're gonna be making some keto buffalo wings I was craving buffalo wings so bad some keto buffalo wings and then um we're gonna make a side salad but I wanted to make buffalo wings and a side salad because I actually got a new dairy-free no or dairy free dressing that I wanted to show y'all and try out okay I have some of my ingredients right here so we have the buffalo wings I just need to bring out like the seasonings and stuff then my buffalo sauce I'm going in with sweet baby Ray's buffalo sauce I love that one then I'm just gonna make a little side salad like I said um I had bought this garden garden salad blend it's just the lettuce with the cabbage and carrots but I had some items on hand in the fridge that I didn't want to go bad so we're just gonna add a little tomato a little um cucumber and then I had a boiled egg in my fridge so we're gonna add a boiled egg this is the dressing that we're gonna go ahead and go in with. So I just discovered this yesterday at HEB. Um, I don't know if they have it at Walmart, but you can go ahead and check it out. I just found it at HEB. This is by Tessa Mays. It is organic creamy ranch dressing and dip. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just check out the ingredients, see if it's um, non-dairy. What is that? 
Okay, it got like dirty. But um, it is non-dairy. I was like really surprised. So these are the ingredients. There's no dairy in there. It does have egg. And remember, egg is not dairy. I posted a picture yesterday. And then these are the macros. Um, only one net carb, you guys, for two tablespoons. The only comments I did get was saying that it is a lot in calories. You guys, I feel like right now we kind of have to pick our battles. <laughs> okay, we're doing no dairy. We're doing low. We're doing keto. Like we're staying away from carbs. Okay, yes, it does have a little bit of calories, but I'll just have it here and there. Um, like I said, I just feel like we have to kind of pick our battles right now and just um, portion ourselves and I think we will be okay. You know, cutting back on dairy already restricts a lot of calories. So I'm just gonna go in with this. You know, if it's for you, you can definitely try it. If you think it's too high in calories and you don't have to, but it is an option. I don't know what got on this in my fridge. It is an option, so. They did have different flavors. Check out the picture I posted in the community post. Um, I'll try different flavors next time, but I just wanted to try their creamy original ranch and we'll see how this goes. So first we're gonna go ahead and start prepping our wings. You can even make some sugar-free barbecue wings. I almost thought about that. I'll probably make those next week. Okay, so these are like the wing, wing, how do you call them, the wings? And you kind of just have to cut it right here to get the two pieces. Why am I using the small knife? Okay, I got a bigger knife. I can never cut wings. There it goes. Okay, I got it. And then you just cut this end off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep these. I'm gonna trim off any fat and then we'll toss them into a bowl to get ready to season. Okay, I went ahead and rinsed my wings and I put them in a bowl and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat them dry really quickly just so they're not all wet. And we're just gonna season. So you can go in with whatever seasonings you like. I'm just gonna add a little onion powder. Some salt to taste. And then this right here is just a seasoning by Adam's Reserve. It's just a peppercorn and garlic mix. So just some black pepper and garlic. It's just easier to have it combined already. Oh, it doesn't have one of those little spill things. Okay, and then to get my wings nice and crispy. I like my skin nice and crispy. What I go in with is some baking powder. You're just gonna add a couple teaspoons and this is gonna help that skin get that little crisp to it while it bakes just gonna add about three teaspoons and then you're just gonna go ahead and give everything a good toss okay I have that nice and tossed and then to just make it easier to clean up I'm just getting my baking sheet and with a piece of parchment paper and we're just gonna go ahead and lay down our wings I'm baking these today in the oven. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. These wings are kind of small. I, should, I, need, I need bigger ones. They're all right, they're good size. Okay, I got my oven preheated to 350. I'm just gonna take my wings. We're gonna pop them in. These are gonna be in for about 25 to 30 minutes. It just depends, just like this. And then when they're done, we'll flip them over. Okay, while my chicken wings are almost done baking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the salad. So I'm just gonna prepare it um, for tomorrow as well. So I'm just gonna take this, put it in a bowl, and then we'll put it in the fridge for leftovers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my tomato. Or add these in as well. You can add some dairy-free cheese to your salad if you like. I don't have none on hand, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Then, what are these called, English cucumbers? I have like half an English cucumber that I had left over. Okay, give it a good rinse. I don't know if to leave the skin on or not. I don't really like cucumber skin, so I'm just gonna take it off. Okay, I got my tomato, cucumber, then I had a boiled egg in my fridge. 
wish I had two boiled eggs, but we only have one, so it'll do. I also had a little bacon pieces in my pantry, so I'm just going to add some of these in. You could toss your dressing in, but since this is going to be for tomorrow as well, I don't want it, my, I don't want it to get soggy, so we'll top it off here in a little bit. Okay, my wings have been baking. I let them bake for 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to take them out. We're going to flip them really quickly. We're going to flip them oil over because we want the skin to get nice and crispy. So we're going to broil them. So you can get that crispiness, okay? So I'm just going to flip them over to the skin side. Okay, once they're flipped over, we're going to pop them back in. Then I'm going to click my broil. Um, mine's going to be on low because my oven is pretty powerful. So broil on low until they're nice and crispy. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to heat through some buffalo sauce because my buffalo sauce is cold and I don't want it cold to go on top of my wings. So I'm just going to warm it up. Usually I would do this over the stove with some butter, but since we're doing dairy free, I'm not adding butter. That was a bit of buffalo sauce. Okay, I'm going to add some. All right, that was too much buffalo sauce. And then I like to just add a little garlic salt to it. All right, guys, my wings got nice and crispy on top. They look really good. I'm just going to go ahead and take them out and put them in a bowl so we can toss them in the buffalo sauce. Look who's always waiting. <laughs> I know what she's waiting for. I got some watermelon right here for the kids, and she loves watermelon. It's been a while since y'all seen the dogs, but here is Jiggy Jank. Do you not want watermelon today? You love watermelon. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Bye. Get the little crunchies. She's like my only dog that would eat like fruit. She loves watermelon. And then she likes asparagus and green beans. She's like the only one that would eat that stuff. The other ones are like, looking at me, like, give me some chicken or anything else. Okay, back to the wings. I'm just tossing them in a bowl to coat them in the buffalo sauce. Okay, and I warmed through that buffalo sauce. I'm just gonna toss it in. Next time I think I'm gonna make some barbecue wings. Maybe next week. Cause those sound so good right now too. All right, we're just gonna toss them in the sauce. And our lunch is ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and serve it up and then we'll try out that dairy-free dressing. Apple wings. I'm a drum girl. I love the drum pieces. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some of my salad on the other side. This was just a quick and easy salad with stuff I already had on hand. I usually get romaine, but I like this one too. You guys, I love that they have this little spout. You know how sometimes they have, the dressings don't have this little spout. They have it to where it just pours out. I hate that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with this dressing. Let me mix it. I went ahead and mixed it up. Just gonna pour some on top. It says two tablespoons of serving size. All right guys, and here is our lunch, our first meal of the day. Some wings and an easy salad with a dairy-free dressing. So let's go ahead and try it. And for my drink, I have a little bit of my Gold Peak Zero Sugar Sweet Tea left. I gotta get some more like ASAP. <laughs> All right, so got my lunch. Let's go ahead and eat a wing first. Mm. You know, buying wings is so expensive. They're just, everything is so pricey. And it's so simple just to make your own, but I understand the convenience because I'm the same way, but it's so much cheaper and very good to make them at home. You're definitely hitting the spot right now. All right, now to try that dressing that I've been waiting for. Mm. That's actually really good. Wow. It has really good seasoning to it. I love that it's very peppery. 
it kind of what is that okay i knew i tasted something in it so it has like a citrusy taste to it but it is just the vinegar but it doesn't taste bad because it has really good seasoning so the pepper really comes through i love it and it has garlic powder onion powder super super good you can taste the lemon juice it has lemon juice in it you guys it's so good now it's not exactly like ranch but i feel like it's kind of better than ranch it's like a little upgraded ranch just because it has so much like flavor usually like regular ranch is kind of like creamy and milky but this has like some like zing to it it's so good mm. they had like an avocado ranch i believe was it avocado i have to look at the picture but this is just a creamy ranch i just want to try their original flavor but i'm definitely going to be buying some more they're a little bit on the pricey side so i'll definitely get a moderation they were like five dollars and something cents may vary where you're from but a little pricey but if you do want a dairy free um dressing and not go in with so much dressing definitely try this i highly recommend it it is really good okay really really good again this is by tessie Mays, you guys but really good dairy free option i'm very proud i'm very glad i got that um look at even says on the side it has cage free eggs dairy free zero grams of sugar okay really really good dressing i'm definitely gonna try the other flavors and see which one's my favorite but this one is up there i love the seasoning in it it's so good now i can't stop talking about it i'm like really impressed really good okay but i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy the rest of my lunch and we will be back shortly all right guys so earlier i ate lunch and i just been doing things around the house i um it's day to wash my sheets and things like that you know doing mom stuff and then i was gaming with my husband we were playing games oh and also i would just finish working on a new outro earlier so i was making a new outro for my video so y'all check it out i think it looks super cute okay i like it and if y'all listen to my outro you will see that i added my old theme song i only added part of it um to the outro because it's super short but I was actually thinking about making a new intro and a lot of y'all have asked if I can bring back my old theme song and I definitely would. It's a little bit like the song was supposed to be like a positive message and a lot of y'all loved it too. I know it's a little bit long but I think it would be great just to add back to my videos. So if y'all would like to hear my new intro song or like my intro song again in my videos, comment down below what y'all think let me know what y'all think and I can probably make a new intro using that. Um, it's going to take a little bit to make my intro because it does take some time to make intros and things like that, especially when it's kind of a long one. So I'll probably take the time to do that um, another day. But right now I did make a new outro. So y'all have a little piece of the song if y'all want to listen to it. I get so many comments saying like y'all missed the song so much. Should I bring it? I, can I bring it back? And it's so funny because it's definitely catching. And like I said, it's just supposed to be a positive message. Like if you really listen to the words. Um, and it's just supposed to be inspiring and you know that's why we had made that song so i'm glad a lot of y'all loved it if y'all would like to hear it, i could play it right now i can give y'all um a little flash a little flashback of it let me take my let me change my speakers um a little flashback of it i know it's been a while so i could play it for y'all real quick but yeah so i was making a new outro just being busy but wow um I'm gonna go ahead and make me some coffee. I brought my coffee stuff over here. I'm about to get started on dinner. Um, so while I cook dinner, I'm just gonna sip on some coffee. I only have a little bit left. So this is, again, you've been following me forever. I'm sorry, y'all see the same coffee all the time, but I just love my iced coffee. But actually, I'm using the Medium Roast Unsweetened by Starbucks. And then this, this dairy-free creamer has been lasting me a while. I have like this much left, but it has lasted me a while. The Cookie Butter by Califia Farms um, Almond Milk Creamer. No dairy, dairy-free. It's so good, okay? Let me go ahead and play the theme song for y'all. Let's do a little flashback. You know what oh, I miss it.
Oh, you guys, I miss it. Okay, I got definitely got to add it back to new intro, but I'm looking at the intro now. The pictures are super old in it. Like if you actually go back and look at my videos, old clips from like older videos, I look different. <laughs> I feel like I look different. I look so young here. Oh my God, I'm aging. But I definitely need to update the intro. So I will work on that Um, if y'all want the song added to a new intro. So comment down below what y'all think, but... There's your little taste of the intro song that y'all been wanting so bad. <laughs> I love it. It's so catchy. But all right, you guys, I am about to get started on dinner. So let's go ahead and cook it up. Okay, so for dinner, I'm kind of like having like a little like throw together type of meal in a way. So we have some Brussels sprouts. We're going to be cooking up some Brussels sprouts today. I'm very picky with Brussels sprouts. I like them sometimes. <laughs> no, like I love Brussels sprouts, but I like shaved Brussels sprouts better. But I had whole Brussels sprouts, so we're going to go in with these. And then I'm just going to like mix them with some ground beef. We're going to add a little like teriyaki sauce, some soy sauce, and you know, all those seasonings. And then we're just going to pour it over this rice. I actually haven't tried this cauliflower rice. So I always get H-E-B brands, regular cauliflower rice and their Mexican style cauliflower rice. But I saw this one and I really wanted to try it. It's their cauli Thai style. Um, and it has cauliflower with lemongrass and coconut milk. And I thought it sounded super good. So we're gonna go ahead and try this cauliflower rice today. So first thing we're gonna do is rinse our Brussels sprouts and we're gonna chop them up. Okay, I got my Brussels sprouts nice and rinsed. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off the ends and then I'm just gonna cut them in half just so they're easier to cook down and easier to eat. So I'm just gonna repeat these and then we'll move on to the stove. Okay, so I actually only did half the Brussels sprouts because it's a good amount and I'll just save these for another meal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cook down my ground beef. I'm just gonna cook my ground beef through first and then we'll season. I just like to drain the fat and I feel like it holds um, flavor better when you cook it first. Okay, so my ground beef is cooked through and I drained the fat. So now I'm just gonna add in my Brussels sprouts and then we'll season so we can steam the Brussels sprouts together too. Like I said, I've been eating a lot of like Asian inspired meals lately. I don't know why. It's just easier with no dairy. We're gonna add a little ginger. Is this ginger? Oh, this is garlic. Oh my God. Okay, well I guess we're having garlic. I think I picked up garlic and not ginger from the store. I'm so sad. Well then, we don't have any ginger. We're gonna go in with some sugar-free rice vinegar. Then the main one I'm gonna go in with is this teriyaki sauce. Um, it's pretty, it's pr low in sugars and low in carbs. Y'all gotta be careful with certain ones though because a lot of the Asian sauces are very high in sugar. So make sure y'all read y'all's labels with them because a lot of them are very sweet. I'm just gonna add some teriyaki sauce to this. So we're gonna add a little salt and pepper. Just a little salt because the sauces are pretty salty. Okay, I'm gonna give this a good mix. Now I need my Brussels sprouts to steam, but I don't wanna dry out my meat. I swear, every time I shake pepper, I sneeze like crazy. But I'm gonna add in some beef broth, just a little bit, so I can cover this with the lid and we can steam the Brussels sprouts. We'll go ahead and stir every couple minutes, but we wanna get the Brussels sprouts nice and tender. All right, you guys, so my Brussels sprouts have been steaming with my ground beef and they're pretty tender already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. Uh, this recipe is super fast and simple. Very quick Saturday night dinner. Now we're just gonna go ahead and warm up our cauliflower rice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and microwave this. It says microwave for six to seven minutes and then that's it, we'll just serve up dinner. All right, you guys, I warmed through this cauliflower rice and I would say it smells freaking amazing. Like you can smell like that lemon coming through. It smells so good, oh my God. I'm just gonna pour a little bit right here. Look at the rice, it looks so good. It looks so creamy. I feel like this is probably gonna be my favorite cauliflower rice. I don't know, it looks freaking good. All right, I'm just gonna serve up the beef and Brussels sprouts. All right, guys, and here is our quick and easy dinner. I literally did it in like 20 minutes, okay? So ground beef, Brussels sprouts, I am excited to try this cauliflower rice. It smells so good. Like that lemon. And you can definitely smell the coconut milk. And then it has like red bell peppers in it, green onions. Or what is that? Is it green onions? Yeah. And it smells so good. Okay, let's try it. And it's so creamy. Like they put some seasoning in here. H-E-B has the best products, I swear. 
I'm sorry if you don't have H-E-B near you. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's spicy. It needs just a little bit of salt. But other than that, it has like a kick to it. Mm. Yeah, I need a little salt. Oh my God. This is probably my favorite cauliflower rice. Why haven't I tried it yet? Now I want to make some keto butter chicken. After the dairy free challenge. Oh my god. A lot of y'all asked if I'm going back to like dairy. I'm only going to incorporate it like once or twice a week. And then I'm going to try to keep it without. Just so I don't gain weight back. And Because I do have a lot of dairy. So I'm going to try to make those changes and really cut back. But I'm definitely making this with butter chicken. I don't care. I do have a butter chicken recipe for y'all. It'll pop up at the end of this video in my playlist of recipes, you guys. Oh my God, y'all need to try this rice. It's so good. So if y'all have an H-E-B near y'all, try it. But this was a great dinner. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I'm just having some water. I run out of my zero sugar tea, but this is gonna be my last meal of the day, you guys. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know what y'all think about that intro. And don't forget to check in for the 30 day dairy free challenge. But I really hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Definitely give it a try if you have an H-E-B near, near y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Go get